I've had issues with Brady, how he's handled this retirement, so to speak. I mean, Kim K and Chris Humphrey's marriage lasted longer than his retirement. <laughs> and between the, the way he handled it, the timing of certain announcements, I, I really felt like it took a lot of, of spotlight and attention away from other main things that were going on at that time. All, uh, mainly the two things, like was the start of March Madness mm-hmm. and the um, Saturday before the Super Bowl the day before the Super or the, the week before. It was, it was very close to the Super Bowl, and I just thought it was like, you know what, dude, if you're going to do it, just wait another week or two, just let the Super Bowl happen, you know, and, and then you can have your whole summer of, of glorified, you know, congratulations. But I, this is really, we're really starting to see what Tom Brady is in his head. This is really starting to play out now. And what's interesting about this, and Obi, I'll turn it over to you in a sec, What's interesting about this also is when he made that retirement announcement, when he did, you were pissed off at him at the time for the decision to do the timing of it then, thinking this is weird, this is egotistical, something is bizarre. So credit to you on this one. You actually saw something fishy about that as it ended up happening. And now we're starting to get some ideas why. Yeah, and and the idea, and if you want to bring the Bucks back into it, Obi, I'll go to you. So now if the Dolphins fail, plan fails, you go to uh, Tam- you go back to Tampa, and then you're like, "Look, if I'm coming, then you got to Bruce Arians or something's got to go." So this is really starting to make a lot of sense, and mm-hmm. it- it's we're really starting to see the inner mechanisms of Tom Brady's brain. I think uh, Tom Brady should be thanking him for messing up his plans. I know Tom Brady thinks he's all that, and I know Scott. You still think Tom Brady is? A great quarterback. I saw a guy who was getting old. I've lost saw, a little bit of respect for him after all this, but go ahead. I'm sorry. I saw a guy who was having more and more trouble getting it done against the Rams. Everyone loved his 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 for his second half, but he still only had one drive that wasn't 30 yards for a touchdown. Um, and if this guy was in the AFC next year, with the way it ended up coming down, first of all, Tyreek doesn't get traded to Miami. Mm-hmm. Miami does not have the assets to get Tyreek from. Uh, Kansas City at that point. Maybe uh, Wilson doesn't go there, but let's say Wilson does. I don't think he gets out of the East. He has he has to he has a quarterback who's probably as good as him, if not better, in the East just because of his age. The quarterbacks there are outrageous. He's got one guy standing in his way in the NFC, which is the way he likes it because he used to have one guy in the AFC mm-hmm. in Brady. So I think that I mean Manny. So I think that. Uh, I'm more down on him as the player. Uh, I don't mind the mechanisms that players try to do. I don't mind people trying to get the best work environment and the most money they can for themselves. And you know I have lots of bad things to say about Brady myself <laughs> on who he is. But this sort of thing, I'm okay with. Like, you know, I'm going to work it out so I can be on the team I want with the coach I want. Good luck. Now, they do say that even if he had gotten there, he would have had to wait a year for Peyton. Uh, Peyton was taking this year off. That was that's the articles I've read. This was a year off, uh, and he was probably going to go to the Cowboys. And that Miami, I guess, would try to fight the Cowboys for him. But we'll see what what Sean Payton does next year. 